Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on March 1st, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to almost spring. And look at these amazing images off the shores of Lake Erie through New York, reminiscent of the movie The Day After Tomorrow. As strong winds and cold air swept across Lake Erie, literally encasing these homes with ice, thick layer of ice, some beautiful images, almost doesn't look real. Crazy stuff. Ontario saw quite a winter storm event and that swept right into Quebec and the Atlantic provinces. Looking here at our sun, 304 angstroms. Not much to talk about, plasma filaments except incoming. No coronal holes to talk about. You can see the top right there, plasma filament just hanging about, getting ready to rip away. You see it on a different light here, you can see it a bit better last few images there another image here able to see the heliosphere being affected and those two sunspots we were talking about the other day one of them fired off a CME we'll be able to see that in the Alaska 2 image but the other fiery sunspot is still active kind of looks like there's a coronal hole building equatorial and here's the CME that shot away from our sun last go to image still early to tell if that will be an earth facing CME I want to thank all of my new friends and family from around the world. Welcome to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world, as well following space weather. Looking here at the annual spiral, see the space weather prediction. We did have an increase in solar wind speed overnight, jumped up to almost 600 kilometers per second, at 540 believe was the highest solar wind speed overnight looking at earthquakes it's been pretty quiet this is the last 24 hours a lot of minor quakes and a few deep ones as well we're gonna run them over right now looking here 4.4 in Japan south of that Mariana Islands 4.7 at 149 kilometer depth Two earthquakes here in the Philippines, 4.9, 4.7, as well 4.1, a deep one, the Banda Sea, and that's a new volcano that erupted yesterday, as well 4.2 in India, 4.2 in Afghanistan, South America, 4.4 here in Chile, and as well 4.6 in Calima, Chile. Earthquake swarm continues the Dominican Republic. And pretty quiet, just minor quakes through Alaska, but the seismicity is increasing. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. A lot of deep earthquakes, a lot of elevated rings. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. And look forward to the volcanic activity report coming later today give you an update on all the latest volcanoes that are erupting around the world because we have had a couple new ones we're going to get into that right now looking at the Pacific Disaster Center most latest updates here Fuego in Guatemala Tacono in Indonesia Reventador in Ecuador as well Popo in Mexico Nevada de Ruiz, de Ruiz 
Era in Japan, Sabinkaya, Peru, Senge in Ecuador, and as well Asosan in Japan, and Bagana. Here's the new one, one of the new ones I was talking about. The Bagana volcano erupted 16 hours ago, or 15 hours ago. This is a Papua New Guinea volcano. And that's pretty much it. Over the last six hours, there's been nine updated and erupting volcanoes. Later on today, I will be re releasing the volcanic activity report and we'll look at all of the volcanoes that are erupting from around the world. Looking here over to the Australia with the situation of the ex tropical storm, Esther, who is still spinning across the Northern Territory of Australia and is getting ready to head south straight across the continent. So the five day forecast that I've been talking about the last few days, it is literally going to run across the continent. Very strange indeed. Watching a situation across Ontario and Quebec into Quebec as that winter storm swept across very strong winds and cold behind In some areas of New York saw snow drifts of nine feet. We had a little dusting of snow last night, about three, three to five centimeters that fell here in Calgary as the low pressure system came from Northern BC. Dropped a little bit more snow north in Alberta, probably up to 30 centimeters. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, starting here at home base, Calgary, Alberta. Still seeing warm temperatures during the day and cold at night. Nothing too drastic for winter. You've been pretty lucky so far, but we do still have three weeks left. Pretty much the anniversary, three year anniversary on March 20th. That is the beginning of spring. So you can see the temperature variation really jumping up and down here in Alberta. Ontario, things are going to be calming down. Small dusting of snow. Thursday. A Colorado low developing here. Monday into Tuesday. Strong line of storms across the deep southeast. Texas, New Orleans, across Florida. Watch for extreme weather later in the week. And throughout Europe, still watching the multiple vortices from the large Greenland monster. It's hanging over Greenland and Iceland, just spinning off these small, low pressure vortices. Colder temperatures across Eastern Europe and into Russia. Watch for some heavy rains and heavy snow mounts throughout northern Pakistan. As well, watching some winter weather heading towards North Japan later in the week. Not too much to talk about for extreme weather from around the world right now. It is quiet, that is for sure. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining the family. We are very close to 10,000. And I want to thank each and every one of you. I want to thank each and every one of my supporters as well for all your donations. Much love to you all. Overlooking Australia, five-day forecast shows very intense amount of moisture and wind. It's going to be heading straight across the continent. Ex-tropical storm Esther is still alive. Amazing, amazing. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains throughout Central Africa, heavier towards Mozambique, and then watch as a tropical cyclone is forming. Later in the week will be affecting Madagascar. South America, same thing, daytime evaporation, nothing too serious to talk about in the next five days. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Much love to you all. Thanks for watching today. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due.
Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.